Every Sunday is game day for the West Michigan Phantoms. They're an adult recreational team. Some players come, some players go. <laughs> that's been around quite a while. 15 years now. On this day, a big distraction is looming in the locker room. Everyone's pretty excited. The Phantoms' final regular season game is happening at the same time to take the final face off. as the Red Wings play their final game at Joe Louis Arena. I'm a huge Red Wings fan. So, half the team is here warming up, up. while the other half is huddling here. Yeah. Watching. 37 years of the wings there. Went off his blocker. I'd say it's bittersweet. Go, 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 go. The Phantoms turned their attention away from the broadcast. All right, three on one. And closed down their opponent. While the wings closed down the Joe. In the last game of Joe Lewis Arena salutes the crowd. These Phantom players didn't need to see the final seconds tick away. I'm really excited to have an opportunity to go. As we say farewell. Or watch all the post-game pageantry. It's really like a story you tell your grandchildren. Because they knew. I hope they don't tell us that there's anyone after us. It wasn't the final game at the Joe. Playing at the Joe Lewis, I mean, it's hard to get, hard to get bigger than that. There was at least one more. Be a part of history. The players rented Michigan's most famous hockey barn. We get to actually skate on the same ice as the Red Wings. For a Saturday matinee to give the Joe a phantom farewell. I think it's pretty cool that we kind of get the last game there. They had the ice for one hour. That's it. So making every second count, both inside the locker room and out, was paramount. Buckets on, boys. Some players wore their game faces. Others took a moment to take it in. All right, guys. Names like Clark, Let's go, boys. Erickson, and Wooten were about to write their own history in hockey town. While legendary names like Howe, Iserman, and Lidstrom watched from high above. A chance to play on the same sheet of ice where some of the greats have skated. Where bitter rivalries were renewed. Holy jumping! Again. And again. It's my pleasure to present the Stanley Cup to Steve Eiserman. And where hockey's holy grail has been raised. Not once, but twice. And they gather around. Fans packed the Joe for those games. For this one, far from it. It's amazing. A small cluster did collect. We have spent a lot of time down here at the Joe. Behind the bench. These are some prime seats. We don't get to sit this close. Come on, let's see a goal. Offering their support as each player savored every second. As fast as it started, 20 seconds. it ended. Line them up. Two Phantom teams able to be out here together at once, split them up amongst great friends. It's, uh, it's great. They just couldn't leave. Three, two, one, perfect. The game may have been over, you wave? but the experience Probably some of the nicest ice I've ever skated on. Continued. From scooping up scrapings to create a jar of the Joe. It's those memories that we'll be able to look back to. To an intimate smooch at center ice. Each Phantom said farewell. A blessing to be here in their own special way. To uh, be able to uh, play in a building with this much history is rewarding.